guys, welcome to this video. So this is going to be a super fun and hopeful video. So I'm going to be giving y'all five out study life hacks. Um, yeah, I know it's like, uh, what's it called? It's, um, it's like standardized test season, you know, because it's like close to summer. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be getting out in like a few weeks. Or maybe a month or so so it's like crunch time for like studying so I thought I could help y'all out so y'all could study and get everything done and be ready um, I don't really know what the tests are like and it's like GMAS, GPAW, SAW you know I don't do standardized tests because I'm homeschooled I don't know of these things that you do in public school if you're not public school. So, but yeah, I'm homeschooled so I don't do these tests. But I hope you enjoy this video. So straight on to this video. Okay guys, so the first one that you can do while you're studying is to chew a strange or weird or unoriginal or original, sorry, original flavor of gum. Um, <clears throat> while you're while you are studying, and then when you take the test, if you can chew gum in school, this one's kind of good, but if you can't chew gum in school. I'm sorry. Um, while you are testing, so that your brain will recall um, the studying the things that you learned while you're studying and everything up here, your brain will be like it'll just kind of how your brain situates room with bed sleep it's going to situate like say watermelon with your social studies homework you know so this one is super helpful you should try it works super well and i love it it's really great i've done this one so many times um so instead of studying in your room brain bed sleep okay um go out somewhere so it doesn't even have to be like to a coffee shop or something it could just be um on your sofa it could be outside i really like going outside and sitting in one of our chairs outside you could study at the dining room table anywhere that you want to study and if you study in your room and you just like gotta study in your room instead of studying in your bed maybe go to a desk if you have a desk or like go sit on the floor this one i know works i use this one like every day of my life so definitely try this one out I like this one, I know it works, but I don't like to do this. So when I'm doing school or anything, I like to listen to K-pop because I love K-pop and I always like dancing and trying my best to sing along to K-pop, okay? But it's not good. Instead, you should listen to oh, music without words or classical music. This helps because you won't feel the urge to like sing along. No, just like dun, 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 dun. There's also, I don't really know, but there's like some study that happened. There's some study that says that this works, and I actually used this before, and it does work. And my brother uses this, so yeah, this works. I use it, my brother uses it, my mom talked about it once, so this goes through my family. It's really great. To eat food, because food is like great. But there's a few foods that you could eat that will like increase your brain capacity kind of, it's just like really good brain food. So the first one is walnuts. Now if you're allergic to walnuts, don't, don't. But also note that almonds, almonds will also bring this. Also, um, here's an extra. If you have a headache, you can just take, eat like five to, five to seven almonds and it'll be like medicine. There's something in the almond that like does that. But yeah, so walnut, broccoli, blueberries, salmon, and avocado. I love all of these things. <clears throat> I love all of these things except avocado. I'm still getting used to the flavor and the like, feeling of the avocado in my mouth. I'm kind of like, hmm, that's strange. I do not like you. But yeah, this one is super helpful and also food. And for a speech or you know anything really so instead of just like reading reading it in your mind like uh sally said 
such and such and social studies and such and such and such in your head, read it out loud. Um, also, this is really good again for speech, so you can practice your pronunciation and saying things loud and like using your diaphragm and not like <laughs> like use your diaphragm to be like wah, not wah. It's different. Okay, so yeah, that was really weird, but yeah, these really work. This, this, that's yeah. This really works. Um, and also, your brain will like be like, okay, I was talking about this. I remember this. You'll remember something more if you say it instead of just like read it in your brain. You know. So this is one. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that was helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to collab with me. My email address is in the description box down below. And also, it's legosientertainment at gmail.com. Yeah. Check out some of my other videos. Check out my vlog channel. Um, that's about all. It, yep. Yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment again.